Welcome back to another episode of Behind the Scenes Podcast. I'm your co-host, Amberella, and... I'm the host, Sutan Hunter Mill. So today we have rising star, Marquise, is it Grissom? Yeah. Okay, Marquise Grissom Jr. here with us today. And yeah. wait, he's also the right-hand pitcher now for the Washington Nationals, right? Yes, ma'am. Congratulations you, you. and welcome. I appreciate it. How you doing? I'm good, man. We played today. Got to win. Yeah. So, yeah, we off on Monday, so okay. good to enjoy tomorrow. But um, yeah, it's just been pretty good just being out here. Nice. Place I ain't never been before. Yeah. yeah. Wait, where are you from? I'm from Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. He came from Atlanta to the Berg. How, you, how the Harrisburg been treating you, man? Because you been well, playing well, for the I Senators, got, right? Yeah, I got here in uh like the first week of June, and uh it's been cool. The fans cool and playing on the island cool too. So right. it's been pretty cool. Just uh learning new places, you know, and just uh playing baseball, which is I love to do every day. So right. yeah. So I heard you you ain't start pitching till you was in what, fifteen or tenth grade or yeah, something like that? Yeah, sixteen, seventeen. Just um my team we ain't really had that many pitches, so I just was like, I'll go up there and try it and then I started like doing pretty good getting, getting better at it. You got my uh coach Marvin Freeman at home and then that's when I started like improving, the offers came and then that's when I started keying down on it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So um What's, what's, like, some of the adversity you had to overcome, like, with, you know, your dad being already being an all-star and also being, a, you know, he won a World Series too, right? Yeah. So, like, how, how what's some adversity you had to overcome of, you know, being in the sport and having daddy that already got these achievements? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I use it more as, like, motivation, you know, try to make my name for myself, you know. Even though we got the same name, I still got to make a name for myself and then, like, nothing really promised i just gotta work the same as if i'm any, anybody else so yeah just um just keep on doing the same thing <clears throat> which is working hard and just being a good person you know so don't really have to like i don't want them people thinking that i'm for my dad like i'm behind my dad so I really yeah. just want to be my own person that's what my goal is to be my own person so yeah, yeah. for sure so Speaking of that, because, you know, my daddy's heavy in my life, too, as well. And, um, you know, he always trying to tell me something like that I should do or shouldn't do. Yeah. What's something that your daddy told you that, like, you really didn't want to, like, accept it uh, and, you know, it end up coming to life? Like, just so maybe like a funny story or something yeah, man, like that. Yeah, man, really almost everything he tell me, like, everything he tell me, he'll tell me something about baseball and it'll eventually happen. And then, like, it seemed like he always turned out to be right in the end. So, like, I'm trying to think, like, he told, right yeah, he told me something, like, before I went to Georgia Tech. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and that wouldn't happen, like, it don't even go like that. And then he'll end up being right. It's so much stuff that he been right about that I just – still shocked but i appreciate him for being there because like sometimes i disagree with him and sometimes i talk back when i was young but yeah. like going back then i even apologize now because like he always right so i was just yeah. about to ask you that is it different now that you're older than versus when you were younger did you appreciate oh, yeah. you know what I mean? oh yeah yeah he, he always used to tell me like when we used to argue when i was young like you're gonna appreciate me in the end because like and i i do because like it would be sometimes or he probably wanted to give up on me, not want to work with, work out with me no more and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I'm just happy he stuck with me. Yeah, for sure. That's hard, man. Don't you, what you, what you, you, I'm sure like, I would say like being in school, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And just being around the people, you, you had to come across a lot of guys when we had a daddy. Yeah. Like, do you feel or see a difference in yourself um, from just having a dad? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, he taught me most of my, like, mannerisms and how to treat people outside. And um, even though he was still playing when I first grew up, like, and then when he retired, he was coaching in 2009, so I was, like, eight. But he was coaching for the Nationals. And okay. then, so, I really, when, after he retired, then I started going over his house more. I always wanted to be around him and stuff like that. So, yeah, I feel like if if I ain't have if I ain't have a father like people that didn't have a father as well like, I mean I feel like it changed me a lot who I am today. I'm a yeah. lot. I look like him. You yeah. Know, he a little shorter than me, but yeah, yeah. No, that's for sure. I, f I feel like that about my daddy too, man. Like, you know, what I mean, I related to that. Like, 
I, and I'd be so mad because I'd tell my girl, like, yo, I don't even want to argue with him because yeah. even when I know I'm for sure right, yeah, he still end up yeah, being yeah, he right. Gonna, he, gonna let him, yeah. <laughs> he already, yeah, he gonna say it. Once he, he already stand, once he stand on it, it's over. It's so over. I just, you know, you gotta let him have it. Yeah, cause he might be right. So, yeah. all right, I'm going back into to, into baseball. So, tell me, like, what was what's your fastest pitch? What was your fastest pitch? Uh, I believe either 97 or 98. Wow. Yeah. Well, we count if we round it up in baseball. So, if it's like 97.5, we uh -huh. call it 98. Oh, it's, it's still the same. Yeah, I'll take 98. I'll say 98. Yeah, for sure. So do you think you chose baseball be because of your dad? Yeah, do you I was think around it. Choose? Yeah, I, I was basketball until like really 15, 16. Okay. I was pretty much short. Like I was like 5'5 five, five going in freshman year. Oh, so man. like I, I grew late growth spurt. So yeah, I, I was basketball until, like, about 16, and then really started keying in on baseball after okay. that. Okay. So, yeah. I'm not about to watch a whole lag. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I just was looking at that. Yeah, so I was aware you did, what, a Chipotle challenge? Oh, yeah, I still, I still eat it every day, yeah. For real? Yeah. So is that your favorite food? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, like, I don't eat a lot of healthy things, so it's, like, I was like, I got to eat something that's not fried. Or yeah. Something, so... I just started, it wasn't even really a challenge. It was just like, I do it because that's who I am. So, like, I got to spring training, like, March 1st, and I had it every day since. <laughs> I could eat it too, yeah, man. I ain't going to hold you. I love yeah. Chipotle. What, what do you get on it? Oh, some plain, some super plain, like, white rice, chicken, sometimes steak, but rarely steak. Yeah. That hot salsa they got. Uh-huh. Cheese. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so was that the only thing in the diet, or was you eating other food? No, I was. I was. I was eating lunch. Like I, I mean, that was just Chipotle for like lunch. But dinner, be anything. It'd be a lot of Chick Fil A though. Mm -hmm. A lot of Chick Fil A. A lot of fast food. That's why I really go to Chipotle. Try to get something at least healthier because mm -hmm. I don't eat nothing really else good. So. Yeah. Wow, hearing this from an athlete is amazing. <laughs> like I'm loving it. This. this is different. Every athlete's like, oh yeah, I eat. This and this and water all the time and this is real right here. Oh yeah, I ain't. He don't know. He gotta get him. A, we gotta get him a Harrisburg girlfriend. Like man, look for him. <laughs> he like he that boy to say like the, that fried chicken. He like that. Damn, <laughs> he, he like he's good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Collard greens. Yes, that's, hello. It's that's, that's like the best only only couple vegetables I eat like collard greens, green beans, yeah, corn, barely mac and cheese. But like once you get outside of that. I don't really know too much. Yeah. yeah. Oh, y'all. Somebody in Harrisburg got hit my boy up on the gram and get my yeah. boy right. We ain't going to have him do 200 days of Chipotle in the burg, all right? That's <laughs> so, what he like. <laughs> we going to get him. He say he like fried foods. Mm hmm And Chipotle. Yeah. And, uh, Chick-fil-A. Chick my Chick son live at Chick-fil-A, too. Yeah. Okay. Banging. <laughs> Banging. The seeds, okay? Live at Chick Fil A. So who do you look up currently? Like who do you look up to currently, within like baseball though? Um, really, I wouldn't even count as looking up, but like more motivation. It's like these people I grew up with at home. We all grew up in Atlanta, and um, we all work out together in the off season because we all on like the same schedule. Okay. But they some of them in the big league, some of them in the minors with me. So they're really cool to just and we call ourselves the Hill Boys. So it's like. 10 to 12 of us that all work out together, grew up together, played against each other growing up since like 7, 8 and just being in pro ball together is like yeah. really cool to have. And it's coached by like my dad and a couple of his old teammates and stuff like that. I love that. On the family, honey. Yeah. <laughs> you went to Georgia Tech, right? Uh-huh. So how important you feel like it is for an athlete that wants to go pro to keep academics first? I feel like I feel like it's very important. I know it's easy to get out of that, but like at Georgia Tech, they made sure like you had to stay on it. Like you can't you can't miss none, or you are gonna have to miss baseball too, because academics come first. Because they tell you you a you a uh, you a scholar before an athlete, so you had to stay locked in all yeah. the time. And I'm taking a class this fall. I think it start like next week, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna try to just keep going because I came out of my uh, after my sophomore year, I got drafted, so I just um. I still want to keep that in my mind or I'll lose it. I, right. I don't want to lose it all. So, yeah. So how, how did the, like, how does it go? Like in being like, um, 
a baseball player and um you're gonna go pro when you're in college can you go straight from high school like how does uh, how does that work yeah in baseball out of high school you can get drafted you can get drafted or you have the option to go to college so if you turn down the draft out of high school you can get drafted after three years your junior year or like before you turn or when you turn 21 okay and yeah so i was lucky to get drafted on my 21st birthday so oh word yeah it was um how was that wow yeah that was crazy that moment that That is oh man yeah it was it was wild you remember it you want to take us back there you remember that like oh yeah you know it was going how 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 was was that moment building up to it and then the moment yeah um shoot birthday i mean my birthday 21st birthday i wanted to go out you know what i'm saying yeah. i wanted to go out like go somewhere crazy but then um the draft was like the 17th 18th and 19th so um i still was trying to have a decision if i was going back to georgia tech or going to the draft because i had that decision so i really didn't try to make too much time because i couldn't get no sleep i just was like thinking about it every day so okay. man i just, the first morning I woke up, my phone blowing up because of the uh, birthday. So my phone blowing up. The draft started at like 12, and then 12.30 came. I went to my mom's house, and we, like, watched it together. And then hearing my name called was like a dream come true. It was yeah. crazy. And then my phone started blowing up even more after that. I couldn't even I couldn't even control my phone after yeah. that. So. But it was a fun. I'll never forget that day. It's still probably one of the best days of my life. So That's good, it's man. always a memory I look back to. You got brothers and sisters? Oh yeah, I got um two brothers, two sisters. Yeah. Uh, I'm the fourth youngest. I only got a younger sister and then a older sister and two older brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So 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 when you got drafted, how, how was your mom? I know that probably really made her proud, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. She she was crying, you know. My dad, I called my dad, and I was finna cry. Mm. And man, just uh Really hearing it from them, how proud of they am of me. That's like my goal in life to just make them proud. So it felt it felt good to just um, hear it coming from them. Mm. Yeah. So um, what's your favorite sport outside of baseball? Oh, basketball. Basketball. So, yeah, basketball. I was, Got any predictions for um, Lil Bronny? Oh. I just hope he do good. Like I don't feel like he that bad. I, like as people saying, cause like. I think I think like he didn't he was a pro player in, in college like he didn't play like a college he played like a pro ball player so I feel like he going to be decent you know I've had arguments with some folks that say that they they don't, they don't think he going to be that good but I th- I do I think he going to be straight They talking shit man yeah. I didn't hear it like I'm Brian, not Brian his on dad, him. Brian his dad like shit. he'll figure something out like he can Put him through the ropes or something. He gonna yeah. learn. The daddy gonna make sure he's straight. They yeah, on the same yeah. team. That's... On the same team. Yeah. I, I can't. I still can't. Have we that. ever seen that before? <laughs> nah, not in base. Not in basketball. Cause like, never been seen before. Yeah, LeBron. them tickets is going up. Father and son on the court. Oh, yeah. Do you think he'll get a start? I don't know. I don't know about the first year. I don't know if he'll start the first year, but. Shoot, I hope he do. Yeah. I hope he like get to starting by like Christmas or something. Then they can see him in the Christmas and. See him do good with his son. I can't wait for the first picture with him and his son on the same court. Like that's that's crazy. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to this year basketball season. Not so so who who would you pick, LeBron James or Kobe Bryant? I'll go. I go Brian. Yeah. I go Brian. Yeah. I I mean I know Brian like like I was when he was drafted I was two. Yeah. And I've known nothing but Brian. Yeah. All through my life and he's been good all yeah. through my life. But uh, I'm an AI guy first, but. Brian, I oh, like Iverson. Oh yeah, yeah. What, what is it you like about Iverson? Man, he made me love the number three. Uh, I had his movie, The Answer. Just like he was my favorite player growing up. Yeah, He's always been my all time, one of my all time favorite players. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Do you have numbers with baseball? Numbers like jersey numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know got I know that. <laughs> Damn. I get it. Can you tell baseball was not my sport? Yeah. It's, it's, it's like that, though. It's always like that. Like, yeah. I, I teach baseball to a lot of folks. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Especially if they look like me. Because, like, ain't a lot of us in baseball. But yeah. it, it's growing, though. So My son was playing for about three years. And we live in Kingsburg. They be coming to your oh. game. So I'm going to show up for you. Yeah, yeah. So he, because his, um, his camp, they always be coming to the baseball games mm-hmm. at the center. So, yeah. but 
my son was playing baseball for about three years. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Because when I was in high school, nigga, I played softball. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> my son said, Daddy, that's for girls. <laughs> Oh my God. What? I said our high school son we had softball. We played that shit. Everybody played in it, but right. man, him playing baseball. Baseball is a tough sport because that ball come fast. Yeah. It require a lot. You got to stay focused a lot um, out there on the field. So um, I mean, so but in school you did pretty good in school too. So you probably good at focusing up and shit like that. Sure, I try to. I mean, like. Just being around it all the time give me like the IQ, yeah. That like know what to do at certain times and um yeah hitting hitting was hard. That's why I don't I don't really do it no more. So and um yeah you say man, it's hard to hit, huh? Yeah, no, nah, I feel like that's the hardest thing to do. Like in any sport, I mean I'm biased, but I feel like the hardest thing to do is like people throwing ninety five and you got to hit it. Time and then someone got spin, some of it going the other way and that way up and down. So yeah, yeah I don't know how crazy. I still don't know how people do it. Yeah. Sure. What you think is better, staying ready or getting ready? If you gotta stay ready, stay ready. You don't gotta get ready. Or is it get ready? You don't gotta stay ready. Not stay ready. You don't gotta get it's ready. It's right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. They, they sound the same, but they they actually are two. They're very distinctive. When I first got that question, that was my first answer too. But get ready is a is a, is a is very key too. Yeah, but stay ready is a is a good one. That's what I would say all the time: is stay ready. But when you get ready, then you get a chance to prepare. Mm-hmm. When you stay ready, you might not be prepared for yeah. what's going on, but you just ready to go. Yeah, yeah. So stay you really ready. get that jump when you get ready. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot for me because like pitching, we don't just got a time who we know who gonna pitch that day. It's like it's whoever. It depends on the situation, the score, and stuff like that. How late or early it is in the game. So like. You got to stay ready when I pitch on, even with the Senators. Like, you just got to know whenever they call your name, it's time to go in. It's time to go. Yeah. yeah. Y'all be, like, wearing down. Like, how fat? How, 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 what's, what's the most innings you got up there on the mound, actually? Well, I was starting in college, and I think I only got – I got up to, like, seven. Okay. Seven. It's so you must have was good. running them then. No, I was doing good. I was doing good. And then now they got me more closing, uh, like, or later in, later in the game. So, okay. like – you gotta got to bring home the game. You got yeah, to do the tough job. Down. You got to shut it down. down. Yeah. Yeah. But I like that pressure. You know, that's what I. That's what I work hard for. Just to try to get to that. Have those key moments, and either you're going good or you're going to yeah. fall down for it. But at least I, I just want the opportunity. You got the favorite all-time pitcher? All-time pitcher. Uh, I probably had to say my coach, Marvin yeah. Freeman. Yeah. Okay. Who do you pitch for? Funny. He pitched for the Rockies, the Braves. Yeah. Yeah. He he a real real close one. He he taught me when I was like fifteen. Mm. And then from the videos from there to now it's like yeah. crazy because I was terrible at first. So Yeah. Man, he he helped me all the way through though. So Are you the only black person on your team? Nah, nah. It's like it's like two, three. It's two, three uh, okay. more. Yeah. But it's been plenty of teams I've been on where I was the only black person though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You feel like that the um the baseball sport, you do you feel like it's equal for African Americans? Get an yeah. opportunity in there, or you just feel like they, they just don't really go after baseball that much? Yeah, I, I just I feel like they don't go after baseball, but I feel like it's getting better though. Like I feel like I feel like everybody get pretty much equal opportunity now. It's just like I mean, you could say it because it's less less black people in it, but I feel like you put the work in, they gonna see you. You know, yeah. so like I feel like. If we all just put the work in and we can do whatever we want to do, so I feel like it's growing up. I feel like I, that's all I want to be is leading lead an example and just right. tell them like you can do it too. So like that's what me and my friends back home. That's what we think about. Just that's our motivation. By showing people that we can do yeah. it, then they gonna come behind you and yeah. try to do it better. Yeah, that's so. that's how I feel like that's always the the best way to carry it. Yeah. Best advice, worst advice you you've gotten. Um, being in baseball so far sure best advice probably just stand stand like even kill like stand even through the good or bad just trying to keep a positive attitude and um because there's so many games it's like i think we play 138 or something like that and they play 162 in um in the big league so 
just uh it's gonna be ups and downs you know you're gonna struggle you're gonna succeed so just basically keep keeping that even keel mm -hmm. and working hard so it's just staying as a straight line and what's the worst yeah that's right worse oh I know somebody hit you with some bullshit advice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> just like, I don't know if I just do baseball or just anyway off of baseball. Like, some crazy. I've, I've heard a lot of crazy things. Like, some people told me, like, water bad for you. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. It's just like, I, I've heard I've heard anything. So, I'm trying <laughs> to think. It's funny because I got friends that tell me, like, I ask them, like, you know, what do you tell people when they ask you for advice? My one homie told me he specifically give people the wrong advice. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yes, he told me that. He said, oh, yeah, somebody asked me something fitting to send them the wrong way. <laughs> not water's not good for you. Yeah. For me all. <laughs> yeah, like, just something, something outlandish. Like, I feel like some of your friends, like, I got some friends that I can't really get serious with. So anything they tell me, I'm going I'm to like, do the opposite. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to just do whatever they tell me not to do because... Some of them I can't even be serious with. We too goofy for that. So yeah. Nah. Who's your Who's your favorite team to play? Team Team to play. Well, I want I want to play I want to play the Braves. I want to play I want to go back home and play them, and just like yeah. I just want to show out of my hometown in front of the family. So yeah, Heck that's yeah. my goal. And they where the Braves say, is in what Smyrna? Now the Braves in Atlanta. They, in Atlanta? They kind of like a little off of Atlanta, like Cobb County, like fifteen minutes from downtown. Okay. But yeah. But yeah, that's a goal for sure. Like going back to um, going back playing against them in Atlanta, like that's one of the dreams for me. I bet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if you had to pick, would you stick with the current team you're with now, or would you want to go somewhere else? No, I, I want to stay where I'm at. Okay. Just, uh, I mean, they gave me the chance. You yeah. Know, so I ain't, I ain't dreamed about nothing else besides getting with this team, getting to the top, and dominating. Mm -hmm. So. Besides that, I mean, going back home would be cool, but I feel like I gotta play against them first. Like I gotta, I gotta, Thanks. yeah, I gotta show out against them. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's like an inside rivalry for me. So, yeah, I just gotta go at the Braves first. Yeah, yeah. got to. Yeah. Okay. I was let you get into your dating oh, questions good. and all that. Thank stuff. you. Yes. <laughs> Let's get juicy. <laughs> okay, Marky. So, do you hit home runs in your love life? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. Nah. nah. Are you currently I'm dating? Uh, nah, not right chilling? now. Yeah, I'm chilling. That that sounds bad though. I, I don't want to say like I'm just Why? chilling, but like. I just, I just, I'm just, you, you know focus. what I'm saying, we travel, we travel, yeah, we travel a lot, so I don't want to, like, waste nobody's time, for real, so I'm going to tell them the truth, but, good. Your I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to try to, no, I ain't, I ain't that good, but I'm, I, I've I'm, been I'm working to be focused, so, yeah. so, yeah, I just try to stay locked in as hard, for as, sure, as much as possible, exactly, because, you know, you're still a man, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> everything can be off limits, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, that's yeah, that's about it. Okay, so if a woman asks you out, what is your ideal date? Ask me out. Yes. Say a woman says she wants to take you out. She ain't gotta take you. Who would be your ideal date? Well, she wants to take you out. It don't matter that you don't want to. Take me somewhere? Yes, I don't, I don't see, like... You don't even know how to react. <laughs> don't know. mind take this man out yet. Take me? <laughs> I don't I don't know. Take me somewhere don't sound right to me though, like. You why used to not? the girls you got to take out, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, is she? Why, why is she taking me? Y'all ain't. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm saying. I'm Ooh. always, I'm always paying and all that shit. So I just, okay. Yeah, but like, wouldn't you want that in return at some point? Yeah, like, you want in return, but it, me, I'm gonna do this for you. What if your woman wanna do that for you? You ain't gonna do it. I feel like yeah. I'm gonna still have to pay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I. I it's, it's gonna take everything in me not to like pay for real. Okay. What? Not e even drive. Like I don't even know about. I mean, you could drive. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you could drive. How about that? If I'm driving, then I'm taking her. Oh my god! But you said <laughs> you're not gonna let her drive. You ain't gonna feel comfortable. It's you ain't right. Hey, I like that though. Shoot. 
That's what's up. That's how women really want it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like that can be, like... Giving back. Fate, for real. Like, I don't think it's... They really want to do it. They just want to be... Act like they've... Coco, stop it. Oh, 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 make sure that's in there. <laughs> we gotta keep that. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah. All right. Basically, what you got? So I get to my going out question. Huh? Go ahead. So um, right, you you do music, right? Yeah. A little so bit, t yeah. tell us a little bit about the music inspiration, because I don't know a lot of baseball players that. Be oh, yeah. song. I, I don't think it's any that I know of for real besides the people I know like yeah. that grew up that I grew up with. We all I see it in a lot of music, but it'll be like country music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. My man Morgan yeah, Wilder, yeah. he gonna have the baseball games and his uh yeah, them big yeah. ass songs. <laughs> yeah, like we we've just been doing it as a hobby for like so long off the phone. Yeah. And then we went to the studio one time and like people around us started liking it. So we just do it as f for fun now. We don't want to like yeah. make it too big of a distraction, and then people think we like rappers. Yeah, yeah. I don't, don't want to be like that, but like we have fun with it. Yeah, you know? so is it? We got a lot of songs though. We got yeah. like a lot of songs with like people that a lot of a lot of baseball players. So it'll yeah. be it'll be cool. Like, I'll be having a good time doing that. Shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't trying to make it out of nothing. It's just like y'all already out, yeah. goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, we just having fun. Nah, I though. see you rocking the spider, man. You like you like yeah. Thug? Nah, Thug, Thug, one of my favorite rappers. He in my top three. Yeah, he in my top three for sure. So, yeah, you been Thug. keeping up with that trial and all that? Nah, I don't keep up with it. But yeah, like, I deleted Twitter. I deleted the Twitter during the season. Uh -huh. but like, Hilarious. But um, yeah, it seems like it's a lot going on with all of them. And then I don't know what's going on. I don't know people looking at Gunner different. A whole yeah, bunch of stuff like that. I'm just. They music to me, so yeah. Well, yeah. recently, Thug Brother had came out and said he regretted calling Gunna a rat because Gunna started doing so well. Yeah. So now Woody yeah, came out, crazy. and Woody is really the one telling everything. That that <laughs> one right there. Yeah. So Woody telling everything. So now Thug Brother came back and said he apologized to Gunna and was like, "Man, I really apologize because Gunna." is not no rat he just wanted he just was worrying about himself but he did not mm -hmm. snitch on nobody mm -hmm. it's you not know? like he was just agreeing to what they were saying yeah he didn't snitch on nobody right but they was still mad at him nigga just hating or whatever yeah. but now woody came out and woody ass <laughs> i thought he was free he don't uh, woody? Even talk, though. well woody he tell it all he, he do this on the stand he remind me of like a he like, mm -hmm. A Charleston White. He real articulate. Yeah. It seemed like he not, but he is. Yeah, he definitely is. But he don't ever say nothing. I, yeah. I didn't even know that. I thought all the clips I seen were funny. Like, I ain't, I ain't know he was... I, was yeah, he I didn't did. think he was either. <laughs> yeah, he did. And that was shit. Thug don't fuck with his ass shit. They be catching, you know... You that was new to me. I didn't know that. You know, you really see people when you, like, just look at the camera. You just look at them. Mm -hmm. Then you can tell how people really feel. Yeah, you catch him off guard, boy. His his faces, they catch all that shit. So, you know, what I mean, I think Woody just trying to save it at this point, but he probably done went on and said a whole bunch of shit, and yeah. then maybe he lied. He basically saying he lied about yeah, a lot of shit. Quiet. Yeah, I mean, I hope I hope Gunner and Thug cool, man. They make yeah. they make hits. Gunner is like that. Yeah, no, nah, Gunner. I wouldn't. I, I love Thug too, but Gunner when it come to making music, like he just he's very musically inclined with yeah, what I, he's I doing. Think like. Man, I've been I've been listening to him for so long. Like I remember when Thug first dropped his first album on like Snapchat, he like reposted it, and that's when I first listened to him. I've been listening to him ever since. Ever since. So, man, going back in Atlanta, that's all we listen to is a bunch of Atlanta rappers. So. Yeah. yeah man. Anybody else from Atlanta you listen to that we might not have heard of? Oh, it's a bunch of young. It's like a bunch of young high school. They, but they they a little throwed off though. They yeah. they, they a little like they'll crash out. But, yeah. But they cool though. It's like I don't even know. Like there's one name, Baby Kia L Five, um, little Drabo, little Draco. One of, one of one of them, and then 
Then we got like dudes. My uh my friend Victor Scott, he rapped too. He played baseball too. He okay. on the uh, he on the Cardinals. He uh he actually put stuff out. He the only one of us that he be dropping his out. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, yeah, he good too. <laughs> That's, That's what's up. up. <laughs> yeah. I was just talking to my homie today and she was talking about just shooting rap shooting a bunch of videos for like athletes that are yeah. famous and they never put the music out, they never yeah. put the videos out. And you know what I'm saying? I just was telling him like shit. Sometimes when you work with people like that, you got to get around the people that it is putting their shit out cuz sometimes for a videographer like they're they'll do a whole lot even for like a cheap price because they want to see the yeah. you know what yeah. I mean they want to see the artwork yeah. go out and then sometimes athletes they they do yeah. it. that's like me like sometimes I since I record a lot, I do a lot of shit and I never put it out. People yeah. be mad at me like, "Why? Where is that?" Yeah, Where that's at? I'll just be like, yeah. when we rapping, yeah, when we rapping, like we don't want to put it out because we might talk crazy. Talk crazy. We, we saying whatever come <laughs> off the head. So when we cussing, we like, so we was like, yeah, we gonna wait on that until yeah. like we got everything worked out. That's that's for them nights. Yeah, yeah having yeah, a good yeah. time. All the guys, you know, what I mean, everybody yeah. having a good time. Start playing them motherfucking bangers yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, that yeah, we we rap, you know what I'm saying? We gonna cuss. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I feel like not everybody gotta listen to what we talking about. Right. Like, but we can make songs that are better to yeah. be in the, being the public eye. For sure. yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. What's your go-to city to party? Well, wait, you just turned 21, right? I'm 23. 20... Well, okay, so... Two years we're about... Yeah, like, what? We're what, okay, 2000, so... right? 2001. 2001, yeah. okay. So what's your favorite city to go party at? Where's the best nightlife? Party? I... Uh, I ain't really got there yet, but... Miami was hard. Miami, yeah, Miami for hard. sure. Yeah. Uh, I only been to Atlanta, Miami, and Vegas. Yeah, but Atlanta ain't yeah. too bad either. Vegas ain't too bad either. Yeah. <laughs> but I ain't never been out in Vegas. I've just been on the strip. Oh, okay. I ain't never went nowhere. You yeah. go out in Atlanta? Barely sometimes. I've, I've been, yeah, I've been to a yeah. couple, yeah. That shit every day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, I've been, I've been, like, yeah, a good amount. I say a good amount. How you get to stay disciplined, bro, through all of this? Well, I mean, in the season, we somewhere we don't even never been before. So, I mean, I just can wait till I get home. I ain't really got it. You, know, I mean, we play every day, so we ain't got that much time. So, yeah, it really ain't. That's good. Hard to discipline yourself. You just gotta just wait, and then it's gonna come. So, yeah, it's always gonna be there. So, yeah, always. So how is the national? I mean the um the senators and um you know the teammates, oh, and yeah. everything in the city. How how how's that been for you? That's cool. It's been so. probably the most fun I had in baseball. Like we play every day, so we actually get cool. We got the same dream, you know. It's people going ups and downs, people doing good, doing doing bad. But like just having that chemistry is actually a lot better than just um even though it's like individual stats like everybody individually want to do good so they can get promoted and stuff so it really ain't focused too much about winning we all everybody look good when you win it so mm -hmm. just um having that chemistry and growing it with people that got the same dream is real cool for me so yeah you got anything else well on wish y'all wish y'all favorite place to go out though like where you go out say like, here here <laughs> no no no, no here. just like <laughs> Uh, favorite city to like party at? Oh, okay. I love LA. LA. Yeah. Oh, born in LA. I'm born in LA. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah LA. I like LA. Love I like it. Nice I think for party. going out parties, the two places I'm gonna pick in Miami is Atlanta mm -hmm. and Miami. I heard Houston crazy. Houston crazy, but I I've Houston been to Houston crazy. a few times, but I never really went there and like just straight yeah. party. No. Only thing about what's the name and I'm not I don't know, but LA partying gets to be expensive. I mean, I guess depending on what type of circle you're going into, but yeah. shit, shit. Sometimes to hit the club, just one that should be like ten thousand, fifteen thousand for the section and shit out there. Yeah, that shit, crazy, that yeah. shit get crazy out of out uh, LA. I like my I mean, I like Atlanta though. Yeah, it ain't, that much, it ain't as much as Miami, LA. Yeah, it don't sound like. Yeah, Miami. I like Atlanta. Yeah, I always got to. I I heard. I always heard. I got to go to Houston though. Oh, Houston! Yeah. I ain't been to L.A. in a while, but they say all the bad chicks come from Houston. 
Once they get themselves together, they go to they Atlanta. Oh. Like what they say? They say Houston make the baddest women. Oh, okay. They he say that they big. come out of Houston. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know then. And they go from Houston once they get themselves together, then Atlanta the next Atlanta. stop. It's straight traffic. Yeah, that's why it's so much traffic. traffic. That's, yeah, like, that's the route. Is just, oh my God, it's overpopulated. Yeah. Atlanta is Wakanda. <laughs> Oh, then. Now, that ain't a bad take. I ain't a lot. I like to live in the outskirts. Yeah. Atlanta, I don't go nowhere between three and eight, though. Just like. The, the traffic, you know, traffic crazy. Yeah, yeah. I just wait. Yeah, <laughs> I can wait. That freeway, that traffic yeah. is crazy. It definitely is crazy. Yeah, I've been in and out there a few times. Yeah, well, that's all we got today. Yeah. I guess. You, know, you got anything? <laughs> Okay, no, last one. All right, so now that you've been drafted, so you know that comes with a whole nother fan base. So have you noticed the difference between, like, your fans, groupies, all that such? Uh, yeah. I mean, a difference, yeah. yeah. I mean, I ain't, have, I ain't have it before. But I, don't, I wouldn't call them groupies, though. They just know me, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they groupies, but, like, it's cool. I mean, it's what I work hard for. Okay, so they know you? Yeah, yeah, they know, oh, okay. they know, they know See, who. Kinda. So y'all be pulling up the cities, it's like chicks already there waiting. Oh, well, nah, nah, nah. Uh, well, nah, uh, I don't think, well. I don't, I don't, nah, I don't think it's like that. Because it's like, damn near no matter what you do, when you go to another city, there's females. Yeah. Like, just yeah. for that, like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Even, like, even just rapping. Like, everything that you do, it seems... <laughs> Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's just like a little motivation too, though. Like you gonna just get there for that to happen. Like, yeah. like I heard in the big leagues, they waiting at the hotel and stuff like that. <laughs> and by all means, I probably won't. You know what I'm saying? And dogs. Age, but yeah, but I mean that's what you were hard. It's for good to know you got hotel. that option yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, the options, yeah, yeah. I know that's right. They got the the women that's made for the baseball players. Yeah. <laughs> Made for the basketball yeah, players, they, 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 the ones for the rappers. They, they waiting at the clubs. They waiting yeah. at the clubs and hoping you come to the club. Cause some of them is. Some of some of my teammates gonna go. Yeah. I, just, I mean, I might go out a couple times, but I ain't never really been into that yet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been that old, so I'm kind of new still. Yeah. So yeah. There's a couple little rounds in Harrisburg. You can go down to Second Street by myself. Do not. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't go nowhere by myself. Do not. Yeah. I don't know if I got my <laughs> Jordan Second Street. Don't go. Yeah, he can go to what's name. Have a good time. I don't go out here, so. What's the name? Huh? What, what, what's it called? Uh, what we got oh, down there. Sawyer's. Sawyer's. Oh no! I, no, I've been there. I've been there. What's the other one? The new spot, Nocturnal. Yeah, I heard of it. I ain't. Yeah, my little brother right and them go all the time. Yeah, I ain't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but I ain't going nowhere by myself, so. Yeah. yeah that's, how, yeah. that's how I am for a friend. I don't like go nowhere by myself. You, should, you sure But I will, I will pop out sometimes. Yeah. Just depends. Yeah. I, probably, I mean, I'll just wait till I get what, home. Every three years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for it sure. Don't, it don't be that long. Nothing so. like a land of man. Yeah. Big ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm still young, so I still go homecoming. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? I still. You having your way, buddy. Yeah, try to. Sure. Live way. life, man. You only get one. Yeah. You having fun. Yeah. Oh, I love that for you. I That's appreciate it. Well, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Special thanks to Marquise. Um, shout out to the Harrisburg Senators. So. Um, special shout out to my co host, Amberella. I appreciate you. Holding us down here at Pro Sounds. And it's behind the scenes, 100 mil. See y'all next time. So. Peace. Yeah. It's all right. It's pretty cool. So, oh.